We are in the Let's Eat Kitchens this morning. Joining us is Carol Merkel. She's from Heirloom Meals. And Carol, it's always great to see you. It's so wonderful to be here. And you can see I'm holding a leek. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> Ashley this. didn't know what a leek was. Right, we should start by explaining this. Exactly. I'm, I'm not the it's most in the, intelligent, but if you could explain what a leek is. It's in the onion family. And uh, I just harvested these from my garden. And it's very mild. So it really adds just a lovely uh, flavor to just about anything you would put onions in. But we're going to do potato leek soup. Okay. And so one of the things that we're going to start right here, um, these are already uh, chopped up, the leeks. And you just use the white part, by the way, up to here. You just unfortunately have to throw out all that beautiful green. And we can't even smell it, really. I mean, it's an, it's an no, onion, you but you cry. can't smell You don't cry. You don't cry. <laughs> yeah. I like that part of it. <laughs> so, um, so the basics of, like, all my soups in, in most of my soups in the winter are is an heirloom technique called sofrito. Mm -hmm. And it's um, onions, garlic, celery, and usually carrots. Sorry, carrot lady, but I'm not putting <laughs> carrot la carrots in this time because um, it'll turn the soup a little orange, right. and I didn't want that. So if you can kind of scoop those... Uh, Scoop the, those in? The celery and okay. the garlic. That's a lot of celery. Oopsie. Here. And, I, and, I, and I'm making a mess. So garlic and celery, scoop in. All right. Okay, here we go. It's all right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Kitchens are not supposed to yeah, be exactly. tidy. Dan's kitchen's not tidy. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, My kitchen is not tidy. Trust me. And so this, you know, you kind of cook it until it gets aromatic and it gets a little browner. And then we add in the, the diced potatoes. Okay. And uh, so, as you know, Nothing happens the way it's supposed to happen on television, right, but right. like so this you would kind of let it brown till it was a little golden and really aromatic. It's, mm -hmm. it's getting there, but it's it won't get there in time. So then we would add um, a couple of a couple of uh, quarts of water. That's Some just water, one, the whole thing. Um, and in normal, you know, you would add like another you know, four cups or, uh, it's, we're about eight to ten cups of water. Okay, because it's, it's, it's actually... It's, we're making soup. It drinks it, okay. Right. Yeah. And so, um, and then once it's cooked, about 20 minutes, you would uh, puree it either with a, you know, an, infu you know, an infusion blender mm -hmm. or you could use your Vitamix or your Cuisinart. Right. So, um, and it then it comes out like that. Looking like that. <laughs> and that's really it, that's right? That's it. And so what I did, though, is um, I didn't put the heavy cream in because what I'm finding in, in so much of, you know, even my own life is people have dairy issues mm -hmm. or whatever. So I thought, why not add the cream as a garnish? So you could have it as optional. If you so, want it, you um, have it. If you don't, you don't. So what I, um, and, and another nice thing, of course, everything tastes better with bacon or pancetta, um, <laughs> was to... Serve it like this with a dollop of the cream, you know, a little bit of the pancetta, and some chives. And and, and ladies first. Okay. Oh right no. After. Yeah, we're gonna this let is... you we're gonna let you try first. Okay. All and right. I, and I'll try this one right here. It might this one might, might not be, be cold. Oh warm. no, it's warm. It's very yep. warm. W watch out because that, yeah, that that's one's hot. steaming. This one is steaming. warm. Maybe that's why I let you try it first. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but my first first. thing might not work. <laughs> really good. So, you know, it's very mild, right? It's, it's very like, mild. Um, Absolutely. So, you know, you blend in the cream. But, you know, this whole technique of the, you know, adding those, um, the onions and the garlic and the celery are a wonderful base for all the soups that you could possibly do. And because we're having such cold weather. Well, I know, this is great for this. Don't mind if I have breakfast right now. That's true. I know, right? Soup weather right but now. It is soup weather. That's why we threw in a little bacon for the breakfast. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Everybody recipes, loves bacon. Exactly. <laughs> recipes on our website, WNYT.com. Click on the Let's Eat section, WNYT.com. Carol Merkel from Heirloom Meals. <laughs> this is potato leek soup. soup. Just great. <laughs> Wonderful. Great. Fantastic. I love it. I'm going to keep eating. All right. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you so much. We'll be right back with your top stories and last week you with us. Stay with us.